Okay. We enter some serious time here because I had to turn the AC off in this room, and it is hot as fuck outside, and I don't want to sweat profusely in my chair. So, challenge start. We're doing Estonia. Now, what do I know about Estonia? It's here, and the capital is Tallinn. I knew that before looking at the map. I'll give myself a little bit of credit with that. And I know that for a long time, I don't know what happened or why, but this was one of my, uh, uh, forget what it was. I, I, for the longest time when I was actually doing GeoGuessr maps, it was just random. And what I would do is kind of pick like a, uh, one of the locations I'd go to or ended up going to in the, uh, video. And for some reason, uh, I forget what number it was. It was back away. So I think I, the, the, I know the title of the, the, the video was called Holiday in Estonia just because it was a play on Holiday in Cambodia. I thought, I thought it was very witty. But that one, for some reason, got, got a lot of uh, views. Like, uh, it was for a while. And then, I don't know, again, <clears throat> what happened with the uh, video I did on... Um, God, what was it called? Some Warhammer RTS, or no, action, uh, Diablo-style type game. And that became, I think, the one that I got seen the most with the Holiday in Estonia one, just kind of like hanging around. But I felt like uh, giving a shot at trying to figure out where anything is in this country. And I'm about to completely be um, stumped with any of these just because no idea where anything is here. Um, if any of you Estonians watching, again, I know I've had some people from Sweden, Finland, uh, United Kingdom, anything just filling me out with any like tidbits, interesting information facts anything i'm i'm always ears for that speaking of which again thank you all for the v continued views support comments tips especially all that previous information about anything swedish that's going to be pretty helpful uh all the pronunciation for things again very helpful <clears throat> if i end up ever end up going to any of these countries which Toidu Pood, I love that name. Um, I do plan on it at some point. I don't know when, though. There's a long list of places I'd like to visit. Get me back on this road. This, uh, this would be another place I'd like to visit. The problem is, I have no idea where the fuck this is in Estonia. Um, I'm not seeing, like, any road signs or anything. This is all just very nondescript. I'm already pretty sure I'm going to get an awful, awful score. Now, I've noticed this little wooden sign was on a previous road that we were on, and it was, like, sideways. But this one, it's pointed vertical for some reason. I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about... I'm assuming you speak Estonian. Um, this is how dumb I am. It definitely looks a little bit like... Uh, finish like i'm sure uh it maybe is the same uh i'm just clicking down here for now maybe it's is that actually water or is that just a building i think it's just a building uh, i know that there was this big long uh thread i think the sami or something like that again it help if i retained any of the information you guys told me but I, if i go back and look i might be able to uh remember it. this sign finally would probably help me oh we're in Tremani. Oh, we were on the south. Oh, there's Tremani. It's totally visible. Yep, bad score. This is just going to be bad score all around. Pardon me while I take a drink. Bowling, nice. Cons consume. What a just outright blatant. What do we do? We consume here. Why? What? Okay, what happened? This is trippy as fuck. I'm sure it was just a fucked up camera a little bit, but we just got a, uh, if I keep going forward, I'm sure it's still going to stay like super purple. This is, this is awesome. Trippy as fuck. Um, 
<clears throat> like I think it Estonian. I'm sure it's a language. Uh, it's, what? Why is this camera just all fucked up? Uh, like I know it for the longest time you're part of the USSR. Got your independence. I know that there was a time when I was listening to a bunch of podcasts, and uh, I ended up stumbling across some, I think it was like a current events type podcast that had to do with, uh, I think, uh, Eastern European, oh wait, now I remember. Okay, so there was this podcast I was listening to, I think it was called Astonishing Legends or something like that. And Tourism Info. So maybe we're in Tallinn or maybe one of these other places. I don't know yet. And one of the people who supported the show and watched the show a bunch was this, I believe it was an Estonian guy. And they were like pushing his channel, being like, hey, this guy's great. He's supporting us. Um, go check him out. He, he does this Eastern European uh podcasts like current events maybe and i thought hmm interesting i know very much nothing of uh rapina of like current events happening in estonia i'll give it a listen and it was pretty interesting i mean granted again <clears throat> i don't think i retained too much of it but it was good to hear like current events what people are thinking um, again, just being like, this is, this is interesting to just kind of like window shop. I, I guess the best way you could do it. We're like, these two people were talking. I just happened to be looking like walking across the window, watching them. Oh, they're having a great conversation. That seemed interesting. And then just continuing on my way. Rapina and Voru. Why are neither of you showing up? On there's Vo Voru uh, again. That's probably like how their the O's are just like probably Finnish O's. But again, I'm being dumb. So twenty five to Voru. So Rapina, you gotta be Kanepi. I don't. Oh, Kanepi is there. So, Severna is just past it. So, we're like maybe near. Well, it's probably not Navi because I don't see any. Uh, I don't see Dendi there. <laughs> um, hmm. Could we be. Us? No, no. This. This. No, maybe. Maybe we are. Like. This isn't that big of a country, and I think 25 kilometers. They don't give me a scale here. Voru's, it, it's, it's way, no, Voru's got to be farther than Kanepi, so maybe we're like in here? Could be here or here, I don't know. But we ran out, oh, we, yeah, we were, we were up here, okay. Okay, I was about to say. Well, we're in a casino or a hotel bar. Something Olympic. Now, I don't get to go to too many casinos just because there aren't any here. I'd have to go to the... Is this Weistefan? Nope. Maybe I knew what that was. Like, I wonder what your... This country's, like, Budweiser is. Not, like... Garbage swill, you know, not that elitist. Just like, what's your the the country's like popular beer? But I'm not seeing it like listed anywhere. Now, my safe my my thought process here is that this has got to be in uh, Tallinn. Like, I have no idea if they would put a uh, casino. Anywhere else in the country? Like, I don't know. Just because. How far do I get to zoom in to maybe see? There's a Coca-Cola Plaza. Solaris. Rusalka. Like, I'm not, I'm not seeing. 
Loop peels. Hmm. Botanical of Tallinn. Are we like, are we in here? Let's scale back and let's see. I, well, I'm, now I'm kind of like, okay, Tallinn biggest. Next biggest is probably got to be Tartu just because of the size of the text. They got emus. Okay. Pollute. It's not. Wait, wait, was it down here? No. Next place could be be like here. Are these these? I'm assuming that these belong to Estonia. Yeah, an airport there. I'm just gonna click Tallinn now. Uh, Hapsalu. I don't know what this is. Let's zoom in. Can I see? Oh, it's it's not showing. Okay. Yeah, museums. Hmm. Can I like get out and uh I see a door. Oh, we're not we're not we're not getting out. Are we not getting out? Yes we are. Okay. Fan Tastic. Get into focus, thank you. Oh, we're in a Oh, this is weird. This is totally set up and it's creepy that they're like, okay, if they're going to come in here, we, we need you ladies to be like in the doorway, welcoming them in. That's it, creepy. I'd feel real creepy for this dude with a backpack on being like, eh, hey, hey, hi, don't mind me in my backpack with a ball on the end of it. Is Estonia part of the uh, EU? Or is it just one of those things again of showing the flags? Because EU. Probably Ollie, but wait, is it? Hmm. They got the Hilton. So, Tallinn, is there a Hilton in Tallinn? There's a shopping thing. Um, KGB Museum. That's, that would be interesting to go see. Solaris, that's not it. Olympic Casino. Nailed it. We are in here. I found it. I think we're there. <laughs> oh, Tilton Tallinn Park, huh? Oh, God damn it, it did it again. I don't... Olympic Park Casino. Is it? Yep, yep, okay. I don't care. I'm, I'm happy enough. Um, it's, it's going well. Uh, granted my score, sorry, text, very important. It's, uh, not going to be a high score. I'm fine with that. I'm going to try, as I always do, EE, -E, remember that for Estonia. Oh man, I got seltzer, seltzer burp, sorry. Got to get him out. Okay, Tallinn Kastom, so we're in Tallinn. Any housekeeping? Any other things I want to talk about as far as this weekend coming up? June's almost over. Uh, the season can't end soon enough. It's hot as fuck. I've done this complaint before, but I don't know how anybody can enjoy such hot weather. It is painfully uncomfortable. I guess I'm not going any farther? Yes, I am. Okay. I think I had a road sign. Like... I mean, I, I've made the, the distinction before of like, <clears throat> oh, this is weird. Goodbye, park. <laughs> like, yeah, summer is, is, you can argue summer may be better than fall, but, or winter, but you can always put more clothes on if it gets cold. But if it gets too hot, there's only so many clothes you can take off before you become, you can't go outside anymore. Otherwise, you're, uh, Gonna cause some complaints, and I live next to a school. I don't need any uh, reason not to be allowed outside anymore or having to move. Kesklin Center, Lubja. Lubja is a. I've seen Lubja, but I don't think it was in this country. I think that's just. I'm, I'm thinking of something else here. Kess, Kesslin Center. 
Hmm. Cascoose. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to see anything here. Oh, we have E20 and E67. Zoom in can actually see road signs. Oh, it's the ferry to E20 and E67. Is this is are these the ferry lines? E67 and uh, E20's got to be around there somewhere. I'm gonna say we're like maybe here. Uh, we were near a park. Maybe like here. Hmm. I uh, might be trying to hike this weekend. I don't know. Ooh, we got a trolley system here. Nice. The uh, weather is going to be hot, but I don't know if I'm going to want to deal with this come uh, two days from now. Well, one day from now when this is airing, but, you know. Um, if I do Narva, I definitely... What way is Narva? But only do it in the morning, because again, no issues hiking in the morning where it's not hot or anything. No bugs, no nothing else. E20. Well, it, no, E20 is like here, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, I think... No, maybe we're over here? No, that didn't look like a hippodrome. What is this thing? Nothing. Mobile telephone pood? <laughs> uh, I'm a child. Oh, we were farther south. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. Even getting this much, I'm okay with. I mean, granted, the, the selections I've gotten have been within some distinguishably metropolitan areas where... And what I mean is, you know, two of them are in Tallinn. I don't know where this is. Uh, bus stop of some sort. I wonder how much rent is over here. I was lis uh, uh, listening. I'm still going through um, <clears throat> the fun task of trying to find an apartment. And going through the fun thing of, wow. It costs this much for that size of an apartment. I never understood the logic behind, like, uh, okay, a two-bedroom apartment in the city that I currently reside uh, can range anywhere between twelve and eighteen hundred bucks a month, and one bedrooms can range anywhere between thirteen to eighteen again. I, it it doesn't make any sense that one bedroom per person would cost more than a two bedroom, but that's just the way the uh, real estate market works. Being such a college town where your parents are like, "Fuck it, we'll just get you the house. I don't care how much it costs. We'll just do it." And you can have a the 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 hilarious one that everyone always seems to talk about is. Um, you can get a, uh, you're going to have to do the math yourself for all you metric people that a, it was like a 300, like 320 square foot studio apartment. Now, a studio apartment is like essentially you got one room for the bathroom and maybe a room for everything else. You like throw the kitchen and Vinny. Throw the kitchen and everything else. All into this one other room. It's like bathroom and then room where bathroom stuff doesn't exist. That is your, uh, I think we're in Inju, I'm going to say. That is your uh, studio apartment, which cost um, $1,300 a month. And I was like, that's absurd. How can anybody... Uh, would choose to pay that. And the problem is, is the, uh, I'm going to go into town. I think I'm actually going to find out where we are. I'm very excited. Um, wait, do I want to go a little farther out? Maybe the town signs over here. And again, like I mentioned before, it's like, why would anybody pay that? It's just because there's people who come here for college. 
there's always not enough apartments. It's it's a uh, if you're a landlord, you're very much uh, have all the power just because it's always in demand. And, you know, there's property tax, all of that stuff as well. I'm not seeing a town name anywhere, and I'm a little disappointed. I thought I would have seen it. And all of that stuff combined together is just like you really can't find cheaper places, I guess. Um, like they're putting in a bunch of, I don't know what the hell any of that says. They're putting in a bunch of new apartments and the way that they're doing it is like, okay, you can make these apartments, but there also has to be um, affordable. And the affordable housing is like a certain percentage of the median income of the city. And I guess the median income for one to two bedrooms equals to 13 to 600 bucks a month, which is way more. Like they did the math and they said that um, in order to pay rent, an average two person bedroom, I think either in the state or the city I live in, uh, you have to work 82 hours a week in order to actually, you know, make rent. They said the average income of people in the state rose by like either it was 20 or 70 cents while rent went up $790 in that same span. It's a bit crazy, but oh, we were actually like completely in Vinny. I don't know. I overthought a little too much, but hey, I'm kind of happy with how this ended up. Nice little country of Estonia. Anyway, that's going to be it for the uh week the room is getting very hot i am in a pool of sweat i am ready to turn the ac on so i'll make this quick again thank you all for watching if you liked it had any comments questions suggestions concerns complaints anything put it in the comments below favorite comment subscribe any any of those things you know everybody on youtube asks you to do the same i guess i'm no different any suggestions for maps i'll look at them and potentially probably do them but uh until monday have yourself an enjoyable weekend, however you do it. Have a good time. Enjoy it. We'll be back here on Monday for some more. Goodbye.